Dear Editor-in-Chief, I know it's been a long time since I last wrote to you, but when you hear what I've been through to get where I am, you'll understand. It all started on the MS Epimeo, the cruise ship that was taking me to Shanghai. Magnificent cruise. Don't you think, Snowy? No, there's no way you can be hungry again. Stop it! Catch it! Stop what? Catch what? Are you all right, sir? The kiosk papyrus! It's blowing away! I'll catch it for you. Uh. Run, Snowy! If we lose sight of it, we'll never get it! Hey! Watch out! Pardon me! Better slow down, kiddo! Ah, oh, come on, pal! I just mopped that! No! Turn! Turn! Yes! No! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Get out from there! You're gonna fall and break your neck! You hear me? Get down from there, I said! All right! Where is it? Where is it? There! Oh, no! Not again! Next time you finish mopping, pal! Where did it go? Where is Where? it? There you are! Careful, sir! Excuse me! Coming through! Ha! Huh. Jumping around like that! Hey! Sorry! Goodness gracious! Ooh, get out of here! Scallywags! Oh no! It's heading straight for the water! It went into that tube! <laughs> Hello? Has anyone seen it? <laughs> they haven't seen it. There it is! Let's go, Snowy. We've got it now. Hey, Why is that boy running? Stop it! I think he stole the papyrus. What? Grab the, the boy papyrus. with the whip! Don't oh, let him get away! That boy's a thief! Scallywag! Stop him! Stop him! Thief. No Don't let him get away! Stop it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Uh, stop right there! The thief! Uh, don't you move! What? Stop! Stop it! It's going into the water! Oh, too late. Oh, oh a lost boy. And so pale. You must be hungry. Let us buy you something to eat. Stop it! Let me go! Don't escape, thief! But I'm not a thief! I was trying to help that gentleman catch his papyrus. But he was running after you. We were both running after the papyrus. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I'm... Uh, sorry? You better be. That document seemed very important to the poor. Hello? He's disappeared. Uh, he snuck up to the top deck, followed by a little pooch. They were looking for some food. Oh, Snowy. How stubborn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm afraid that deck is restricted. 
Some cinema people booked him. It's just for them. That glutton dog. I have to stop him. Poor gentleman. Well, I guess I owe you, sir. Come with me. Thank you. Oh, sometimes Snowy is like a stomach on legs, you know. But don't tell anyone that I let you win. Where could they have gone? Good morning, sir. Did you see a little Prepare dog? Prepare to die! Spiegel the evil weasel! <gasps> Who are you? Now I must start the scene from the top again. But you could have hurt me! You certainly deserve it. For interrupting my scene! Why is it open? Did someone fall into the water? Hello? Are you all right? Good morning, sir. Um, may I help you, sir? It looks like you could use the help a lot more than me. Uh, if that's your wish, sir, I'd be happy to let you help me, sir. All right, let me think. How can we get your head out from... If I may, sir, that might not be the kind of help I'm in urgent need of right now, sir. Would you be so kind as to order me to give you these glasses, sir? Yes, I can do that. And then be extremely careful not to lose the ring that lies at the bottom of one of the glasses, sir? Um, yes, I can do that too. And then order me to let you give them to the gentleman who gave me the ring and ordered the glasses, sir? Uh, close to the other stairs, sir? Yes, I can do all of that. Glad to be of service, sir. Uh, please, be quick. Uh, cinema people have a very short fuse, and I wouldn't like them to get me fired. You just saved my life, young man. And now, on with my life's plot point. <sighs> my dear Matilda. Oh, breakfast. Mm. <laughs> my dear Matilda. There's something I've been meaning to tell oh, you for a long... My dearest Marvin, at last. There's a moment mm. in your life that your heart, uh, my heart, our hearts... <laughs> As we grow older, certain things no, are unhealthy for our hearts. My dearest Marvin, it was about time one of us said it. Oh! Oh, my dear Matilda! So, so you feel the same way? I... We're growing older. And this kind of breakfast is not healthy for the heart. Enough! <gasps> Thank you very much, my dearest Marvin. You're welcome. My dear Matilda. Sir! 
may I presume that you delivered the glasses, sir? Indeed. Now, don't you think it's time we did something about your head? Uh, yes, sir, if that's your wish, uh, sir. So, I'm going to push and... Oh, no, sir. If I may suggest, you might not want to do that. I already tried, but the skin on my neck stuck to the metal bar and wouldn't budge. Maybe I could try to get something that makes the bar slippery enough. As you wish, sir. I am here to serve you, sir. Arabian Nights, directed by Mel G. Ford. This cruise ship is named after Mount Epimeo on the little island of Ischia in Italy. My word, actors can be so vain. Be careful! I'm waxing the floor, and it's slippery! Oh, thanks. It looks like a really tough chore. Are you kidding me? Waxing the floor is the best chore ever! And the lower you keep your head, the less likely people will come and whack it! That's my one and only motto. By the way, there's something I'd like to ask you. Can I borrow your can of wax for a friend? It'll just take a minute. Be generous to people who ask you for wax. That's my one and only motto. Look. I got some floor wax. It should help your head slip out of the bars. Um, if that pleases you, sir, I'd be glad to let you do it, sir. Yes. All right. The bars are slippery, so... Time to push! <laughs> <laughs> It worked! <sighs> yes, yes, sir. I'm glad that makes you happy, sir. Uh, uh, and now, uh, if you'll allow me, sir, I've already devoted a great deal of time to your service, sir. So, have a good morning, sir. It's better not to step on the waxed floor. It's too slippery, as the waiter's head just showed. You there! Stop! Hey, you know him? You're the nitwit who knocked all the scripts on the ground! Oh, I'm very sorry. I was in a hurry. I didn't do it on purpose. You're sorry? Come here, and I'll give you a reason to feel sorry. My fists are eager to meet you. I'm sorry again, but I must decline your invitation. Let the nitwit go, brother. We don't want to disturb the boss while he's reading a new script. Excuse me, sir. Is my dog... 
Snowy, I've been looking all over the ship for you. Have you no shame? Get out of there right now. I'm sorry, sir. His gluttony has no limit. Did my dog bother you? A dog? I don't know of any dog, young man. Can you even tell a young man and a dog apart? Of course I can, young man. Dogs are all bark and no bite, whereas young men are no bark and all bite. I tried to retrieve your papyrus, but it blew overboard. My papyrus in the sea? Impossible. I still have it with me. What you saw flying away was the prospectus of the travel agency. Odd. I distinctly heard you yelling the word papyrus. What are you doing there? Can't you see? I'm rowing! Oh, but your boat isn't in the water. That's right. You're very observant, young man. Don't you think that maybe you're a little... Oh, no. See what you have done? Me? You and your innumerable questions have made me forget why I was rowing. A shame, indeed. Uh <clears throat> All the same, questions are signs of an adventurous spirit, so I'll tell you a secret. A secret about something extremely secretive, of the utmost secrecy. Oh, what is that curious symbol? I believe it must be the Royal Cipher of Kiosk. And I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal his tomb to the world. So, this red mark on the map here is... The exact location of the tomb of Kiosk. What do these hieroglyphs mean? They speak of the curse of Kiosk that afflicts anyone who tries to find his tomb. Actually, all the archaeologists who've endeavored to find it have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. If you're interested, why not join me in Port Said's old town tomorrow and we'll look for the tomb together? Certainly. We would like that. Right, Snowy? Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow then, dear friend. Goodbye, little man. Oh, oh. Uh, I beg your pardon, Captain. What an odd character. Hey, huh? clumsy oaf! Can't you look where you are going? Uh, I'm terribly sorry I mistook you for a ventilator. Imbecile! Please, sir! Control yourself. The gentleman didn't bump into you deliberately. You impudent little whippersnapper. How dare you meddle? Hey, you two. What do I pay you for? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, I'm afraid you're gonna be really sorry. Gentlemen, there's no need for this. Uh, uh, someone could get hurt. Uh, 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 my uh, nose. Uh, Your nose. Whose nose? Whose nose? Whose nose again? Your nose. Not my nose. Oh, I hear! Oh, yeah. Shut up! On the count of three! <laughs> One! Two! Three! <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> you bungling bunch of bunglers! You call yourself bodyguards? Let's go! And you! You don't know who you're dealing with! The day will come when you'll regret ever having crossed my path! Remember my name. <laughs> How funny. Didn't even say his name. <sighs> his face rings a bell, though. Hmm.
The next day, after a delicious breakfast, courtesy of a grateful and helpful waiter. All right, Snowy. We'll be arriving in Port Said in just a few hours. How do you want to spend time till... Mm. What? What's that? Does it smell odd? Can you find where the smell is coming from, Snowy? What's that, Snowy? This part of the carpet is wet. Except for that footprint. Someone was here just a moment ago. Can you keep looking for that funny smell, Snowy? What did you find, Snowy? That looks like ash from a huge cigar. That's the odd smell. Someone who smokes was in our room. Nice work, Snowy. I'll take it from here. There's some water on the plate. Maybe they tipped the jar over, water spilled onto the carpet, and then they tread on it, which would explain the footprint. My reporter camera is the single most valuable item in this cabin, which means that they didn't want to steal Snowy. Tintin and Snowy save the day. They took that picture at the official banquet the city of Chicago held in our honor after we fought Al Capone. The blonde woman is Mary Pickford, the famous actress. And the man with the monocle... Wait, that's the bad-tempered man from yesterday. I knew I had met him before. Roberto Rastapopoulos, owner of Cosmos Pictures, the largest American cinema company. Mel G. Ford to direct Arabian Nights. Of course, that's the man I saw yesterday, sleeping on the top deck. Hmm. You're such a good detective, Snowy. I'm very proud of you. The sign is on the outside of the door, so it wasn't the room service who came in and smoked here. The drawers. I'd be appalled if someone had stolen my clothes. Still, no harm in looking. All right, they didn't take my clothes, as anticipated. Oh. I don't remember seeing this box before. How did this get... Huh? Is your name Tintin? Tintin? That is, is your, your name, name Snowy? Snowy? Yes, that's us. What... Huh? Well, well, well. The tip was true. That's opium, sure enough. What? This must be some kind of joke. 
I arrest you and your dog in the name of the law. To be precise, I name you to arrest your... Where's your dog? It escaped. We must tell the crew that a four-legged criminal is on the loose. Come with us, you two-legged felon. But this makes no sense whatsoever. Sense? Justice will put some... Oh. Who put that here? Surely the dog, to stop us. The cunning crook. Let's offer a reward. up this criminal. Oh, I know it. You can put him in the cellar. That way. What about his little pooch? Find it and you'll get a substantial reward. Substantial? That sounds like a lot. This scallywag tried to rob me. Find his dog for a substantial reward. Detectives, my husband has gone missing. He was thirsty. I looked in the bar, but... We don't have time for that, madam. Substantial. <laughs> That's stingy. What if I, uh... Hmm... What was that? Ah, this time I found you, you anti-chess hooligan. Thanks. And do tell us if you see the four-legged criminal. Snowy is not Talk, a... Talk, you two-legged trickster. Why, he's such a cute dog. Why, oh why is it so hot in here? My vocal cords are going to dry up before this lousy piano gets tuned. Maybe you could open that window behind you, sir. <sighs> in the name of the fans of the great actor and the singer Randolfo Bertolino, that's me. Grazie. Glad to be of service, sir. Soda, yes. Peanuts, yes. Da, 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 da. Spring water, mm, no. Not good. Ah. Air wax, <laughs> yes, you never know. Ice cubes, All right. yes. Let's see. Napkins, yes. Tumblers? No. Stale and no good. Ah. Ouch! The piano lid fell and out. Besides, this is no place for passengers. And your wife is looking for you. You know what? Uh, empty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, but now this one's edge is dulled. Gotta keep things sharp. Oh, That's not my one and one, two, three. Mm hmm. Ten. Oh. 
But now this one's edge is dull. Gotta so keep thirsty. things sharp. That's my one and only one, two, three. No ear. What if it's I started on the desk? early, took my dog, and visited the sea. The mermaids in the basement came out to look at me. No luck, then it must be on the desk. What's moving? Thanks for the key, sailor. The one that opens the cellar is... Don't burden us with details. We're on a mission. Sir, uh, sorry, sir. And now I'm on a mission too. We'll find that dog. And my rank back. Left, right. Left, until all apologize. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left. Right. Left. Right. That coward Left, Tom right. and his rat excuses. Left. Right. Left. Right. You've got to believe me. A ghost yelled through the ventilators. But it was me. I was chasing a... Shut up, you delinquent, and mind your step. No! Oh! Oh! Ouch! That hurts. Ah, oh, jeez. This is a job for more than one person. One towel at a time. That's my kind of strike. That coward Tom and his rat excuses. If I could prove there are no rats, so Tom could come back. That's the cellar door, Thompson. Lock him in. Me? But the sailor gave you the keys, Thompson. To be precise, he gave you the cellar keys, Thompson. Look in your pockets. Not here. No. Uh uh, no. Hmm? Oh, look, the keys. They must have fallen when we fell. We were both right, as we always are. And now you, delinquent. Uh, but you must listen. Uh, in you go. Now, which of these keys goes here?
<gasps> Snowy! How did you... Is this the good key? To be precise, this is it. Ha! Another case sold, Thompson. Indeed. Genius as usual, Thompson. Now, let's wait till we arrive in Port Said and hand the criminal over to the authorities. You hear that, Snowy? We must get off of this ship. Let's start by checking all the possible ways out. Then, once we know all the possibilities, we'll choose the best option. Hmm, looks like a cargo elevator. Oh dear, the fuse is missing. It must be blocked from the outside. I could open up that duct, sneak in, and then... Oh. But what am I saying? I don't fit in there. But you could. Oh. Crikey, it's too high. Toolbox. Let's see. Oh, a screwdriver. That's convenient. Looks like a cargo elevator. Oh dear, the fuse is missing. Dash, it's too high. Hmm, we could swim to that boat. I can't open it with my bare hands. Lucky, I could jump straight onto the boat. If I find a way to open the porthole, that is.
guess I can cast this way of escape aside. Alright, so, among all my escape options, opening that porthole to jump onto the boat seems the best one. But I need more strength to open it. So how do I do it? I know, if I tie something from the porthole to the lift and send it down... Hmm, but for that I'll have to find a fuse. Let's get on with it. That pipe could work as a sort of pulley if I had some rope. I could try and unscrew that grid, but it's too high. I could try and unscrew that grid, but it's too high. I could try and unscrew that grid, but it's too high. Up you go, old chum. Let's see what you can do. And keep a low profile. They're still looking for you, remember? Snowy, I knew you'd do it. Shh, quiet. Now, go hide, in case they spot me and you need to rescue me again. So I'm here, and that's the maintenance room. That's where I'll find the fuse. But I must cross the post office to get there, which is... that door. Looks like an interphone. That's the door leading to the laundry, where the maintenance room is. I can't get through that door unless I make that sailor go away. He seems so focused that I could probably sneak past him. I can't tell if he works at the post office or not. Maybe I can make him turn around so I can see the symbol on his uniform. Now this could be really useful. Hello, can I talk to someone at the post office? You are now. Want to talk to the mail guy? He's right here too. No, no, I just need you to go to wherever you're supposed to be working now. So, you don't even know where I work, and yet 
shit you're giving me orders? Stop joking, whoever you are, all right? Crumbs, it didn't work. You hear me? I hear him, but I'd better stay quiet now. Whatever. That's weird. The light stayed on even after I stopped pressing the button, which must mean it stays lit if another speaker is pressing their interphone's button. I'd rather not speak into it until I know where that sailor works. I can't tell if he works at the post office or not. Maybe I can make him turn around so I can see the symbol on his uniform. Scotch tape. What an invention. Hmm, I think I already know how to use this. I'd better change my voice now. Attention, everyone! Please stay alert for an important announcement! Ha! He works at the laundry. And he's expecting an important announcement. I don't want to keep him waiting. All laundry room personnel, return to your workplace at once. I repeat, laundry room personnel, return to your workplace, or you'll be fired! It worked! He's gone! Now I have to be careful if I want to sneak past the other sailor. What a waste of time! There it is, the maintenance room. Why are we chasing a dog? It's ridiculous. A fuse. I'm so close now. One, two, three, and twenty. Okay, let's write it down. Got it! Fifteen! Let's write it down. Is anyone there? Why doesn't it work yet? Dash, the cables are a real mess.
Ha! I fixed it. Now that I've fixed the lift, I can tie one end here and the other end to the porthole. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings. it like this. After the initial scare, the fishermen kindly agreed to take us to Port Said. The trip was calm, the sea looked like a lake, and I had nothing left to do but enjoy the sun and the sea breeze. Once at the port, I soon found Professor Sarcophagus and made arrangements for our trip to the desert, unaware that the police were once again on our trail. A couple of days later, somewhere near Cairo, the professor got off his mule and instructed the guide to wait for us till dusk. However, we would never return. If it's accurate, it's at this very spot that we shall find the tomb of Kiosk. Did I tell you? Here's the tomb! That's amazing! <laughs> oh, oh, noble Pharaoh, here I am! The name of Sophocles' sarcophagus will be remembered by future generations! <laughs> oh. A cigar? A cigar here of all places? How odd. It just gets stranger and stranger. The pharaoh's symbol is on the band. I wonder what Professor Sarcophagus will make of it. <gasps> what? what in heaven's name? as if he'd vanished into thin air. <gasps> Aha! Go on, Snowy. But be careful. <laughs> What's that, Snowy? The professor's shoe. Has to be close. Professor? Can you hear me? Professor? It seems like the dangers the professor warned of are already here. Heavens, look at that! Well, Everything looks quiet for now. I hope there's nothing else besides those loose pillars.
can't believe we're in an Egyptian tomb. Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. Are these channels for decoration, or do they have some kind of connection with that symbol? Hmm. Sealed. But the professor said these tombs were filled with secret mechanisms. One piece is clearly different from the rest. That sounded like the good kind of click. Look, the wave symbol has sunken into the door. Perhaps we can open the door if we do the same thing with the others. I can move pieces up and down to save them for later. snake symbol has sunken into the door. Look, Snowy, the professor was right about the mysteries in these tombs. We did it! Oh, no. A new melody. Now we've got it. Well, what's a first without a second? And a second without a third? So proud of us. Huh? Did the door just slam shut of its own accord? Look! The professor's other shoe.
must find a way to open it, or else we'll never find him. Don't you think, Snowy? Snowy? Snowy, where are you going? Snowy, where are you going? Why are you running? Stop! This could all cave in at any moment! Be careful! You could get hurt! Maybe I should be careful too. And don't fall! We have no rope! I hope nothing happens to him. Come on, he's gonna be fine. He's the smartest dog in the world. Ouch! Why is the floor so hard? Of course! That's it! Have you picked up the Professor's scent? But then, why can't he hear me? Ouch! Why is the floor so hard? Snowy, answer me! <laughs> Finally! Are you following the professor's scent, or...? Uh-oh! Is that rumble? Not again. Snowy, come here! Oh, crumbs! Snowy, be careful! It's full of traps around here! No, 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 no! Yes! Good thing he's too small to fall into them. Too bad I'm not. All these traps can only mean one thing. Just one thing. We're getting closer to the tomb of Kiosk, and probably also to the Professor. But wait, the Professor spoke of a curse. And no Egyptologists ever come back! Maybe... Maybe that's the curse of Chaos! Run till you go mad! Snowy, stop! Come back here! You're in danger! Listen to me! You've been hit by the curse of Kiosk! <laughs> Snowy, why did you run like that? Beetle? Oh, but you can't just... 
I mean, we're lucky to be alive. Hmm. Don't worry. What's done is done. Hmm. Now, let's find a way out of here. What? There's something on the other side. We've got to find a way to open this door. Too bad the professor barely taught me any of those hieroglyphs. Though these look like... smoking pipes? Maybe they have something to do with the cigar we found outside. And... Good heavens! These here ring a bell, don't they, Snowy? It looks like the place where builders, or embalmers, or whoever worked here took their breaks. Do you see that, Snowy? The light beam from the statue is shining through the hole in the door. Thank you. 
Let's see if it works. Let's be careful. Who knows what we'll find in there. I hope you're not still thinking about the beetle. Do you see that giant kiosk symbol on the ground surrounding the statue? I guess it must be some kind of door again. Speaking of which... That's exactly what I thought. Gosh, I think they told me about this when I learned to play chess. It's Senet, its ancient Egyptian cousin. I wonder what this scale is for. Am I supposed to put something on it? This reminds me of something the professor told us about. The weighing of the heart. Ancient Egyptians thought that, when you died, your heart was weighed against a feather. If they balanced, you were rendered worthy of paradise. Hmm. Maybe we should find a heart and a feather and put them on the statue's weighing scale. There's nothing inside. This one's empty. It looks like a crossing between rails, like the ones those other statues with the mirrors were mounted on. But what are those two holes for? I can't seem to move it any farther in this direction. Why? Look at all that sand pouring in. If we gave it enough time, it could fill the whole room. What kind of wood can last so many centuries? I could use the stick I took as a lever, but it's way too thick to fit between the lid. I'd say it only opens completely when something heavier than me stands on that exact spot on the ground. Let's hope all this helps me in the end. Oh no. That fallen stone is blocking the way, and it's too heavy to even think about moving it. Whoever made this statue in the shape of stairs, I sure appreciate it. I'm not going to fall, don't worry. Move away, Snowy! Dad. 
trash. I thought it'd be heavy enough. One cannot but wonder, how much does a grain of sand weigh? Ever wondered how much a grain of sand weighs, Snowy? Just one million times less than one million grains. That's about how many grains are in here. Great! I hope it doesn't close now. I know you were expecting a beetle, but look, such an incredible piece of art, isn't it? <laughs> Uh-oh. That sounded like the bad kind of click. Something bad's bound to happen. I can feel it. I wish I could remember the names of all the gods the professor told me about. These amphorae are full of scrolls. One can only imagine how many secrets are kept inside. I need to find one more gem and place it there.
hope I did it right. Oh, look! A white gem! What's happening, Snowy? Yes! Oh my! That's the worst kind of click I've ever heard! Run, Snowy! Snowy? That was a close call, wasn't it? I hope that's the good kind of rumble, if there's such a thing. dark in here. Luckily, that beam of light shines all the way down to... Uh, our destination, I guess. If we've learned anything about ancient Egyptians, besides their love of self-closing doors, is that light beams point to the exit. Let's not go that way, Snowy. It's too dark. Now that's better. Remember Chicago? When I climbed from window to window on that building? This is much higher. Tunnel. Bad luck, it's too small. Snowy, can you... <laughs> Great. But be careful, will you? We're so lucky you're smaller than I am.
Any news, Snowy? Oh, there you are. I was starting to worry. Can you see if there's anything to help me get across? What are you trying to say? Oh, that was it. You never cease to impress me. Yes, old boy. You're amazing. Come on, let's keep moving. Phew! That makes that Chicago building seem like a piece of cake! They were just bats. They always managed to scare me. Shh! Do you hear? Don't even think about opening that. Uh-oh. Oh dear, again? Run! By thunder! Don't they ever run out of closing doors? Cave ends there, right next to that pillar. Ha! Huh, the Royal Cipher of Kiosk! If I know my ancient Egyptians, that's where we must direct the light beam. See how the most polished side of the prism reflects the light, Snowy?
Hmm. It looks just like those panels hanging above that reflect the light beam. It must have fallen. I hope this does the trick. Pillar must have powered them. We agreed rumbling was good, didn't we? Oh, look! I figured. You figure? Oh, I guess we figured. told me that originally she was not a cat, but a liar. Hmm. But then the ancient Egyptians tamed cats and made her look more of their time. This doesn't look like an ancient mummy. G.H. Carnivale. Wait. Where have I heard that name before? Oh no! That's incredible! The professor was right about the curse of the pharaoh. These are all the archaeologists that desecrated the tomb of Kiosk. Oh, poor souls. They paid dearly for their discovery. These ones empty. Professor Sarcophagus. No way. It can't be. Snowy, we must get out of here at any cost. Even more of these strange looking cigars. We're onto something, Snowy. I can feel it. Look, a trail of wax stains. Didn't they use it to preserve the mummies? 
They look recent, though. I think that's what the professor called an ank. Looks like an altar for mummified animals. The pets of Pharaoh Kiosk, perhaps. It's odd how they sometimes portray the dog god Anubis as a real dog and other times as a human with a dog head. How strange. The wax trail seems to continue under this solid wall. Hmm, interesting. Look at all these hieroglyphs. I bet the professor knows what they mean. I think I know where to put it. Another ank, a symbol of life, according to the professor. Hmm, I think I know where this belongs. Seems like an air duct. Of course, it's so people can breathe in here. Ah, oh, I can't open it. If only I had a lever or something like that. Hmm. Huh. 
seems like it's some kind of shipping schedule with tides and timetables. The handwriting is pretty sloppy. The word Sereno keeps coming up. Hmm. Sereno. It has a leak, so that's where all that paraffin wax came from. Hmm, I'm not an archaeologist, but that doesn't look like an ancient door. They took the head. Vandals. Identical to the one outside. And the boxes are full of the same cigars. Maybe the answer to this mystery lies in... What's going on, Snowy? Snowy? I dreamt that this room was full of gas. You dreamt of the beetle? Forget it. It's not coming back. <gasps> Snowy! Snowy, jump off that beetle! It could be dangerous! Huh? Flying graves? Where do you think, you're, do you going, think you're going, boy? We still have we plenty of unoccupied sarcophagi. We want the company of fresh blood. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. The name of Sophocles sarcophagus will be remembered by future generations. Professor, is that you? Can you hear me? <laughs> Professor, where are you? I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal this tomb to the world. Professor! And I will finally win the Egyptology World Award. This must be a bad dream. It looks so real. The evil are weasel. You certainly deserve What? What's the film star doing here? You are evil as a weasel. Stop it! Catch it! Catch what? 
Did you lose your papyrus again, Professor? I lost my beard! What? Why is that boy running? I think he stole, stole somebody's, somebody's beard. beard. Why would I want to steal someone's beard? Then why are, then you, why running? are you running? Because... 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 I don't know! I don't, know. I don't remember! I don't remember. This place is messing with my mind. You won't escape, you won't escape. Thief. But I'm not a thief. I'm Tintin. And I'm a mummy. A mummy? I mean, I'm a sailor. A sailor? A sailor. I mean, I'm a... a... Who was I? What's happening? Snowy. That's it. I'm chasing Snowy. Snowy, we have got to get out of here before we go completely insane. Get off of that beetle right now! Excuse me, I hope I'm not disturbing your eternal rest. Anubis? Snowy, I finally reached you, gotcha! I'm not going to let myself be mummified. But what is happening to me? No, not that. Never. I can only imagine what happened while Snowy and I were unconscious. Must have carried us from the desert to the coast inside sarcophagi and boarded us onto a ship. Then I guess they threw us overboard, but I doubt it was part of the plan. Too much trouble to get rid of our bodies. The day I find out who those crooks were, they'll be in trouble. Pleasant weather we're having, isn't it? It was the end. But then, 